Welcome to Ubuntu. I am because we are a virtual exhibition by Africana Art Foundation. I'm Louise Stephanie, founder, director and curator of Africana, and I'm here today to present you two African art exhibits that were made especially at the request of the World Trade Organization Director General Dr. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. I had wanted art to feature in the ministerial conference as a reminder of what connects us across national borders and backgrounds. African art is often not well known or appreciated, yet the continent is exploding with talent. On behalf of the WTO Secretariat, I would like to thank our generous partner, the Africana Art Foundation, for loaning us their art collection during this ministerial, for introducing us to our three African young women artists and for their mission of championing African artists, especially women. Africana Art Foundation prepared two exhibitions. The first one is Ubuntu, I Am Because We Are, which is taking place at the WTO building and is featuring only female artists. The second one is the selected work of arts of Africana Art Foundation, which is taking place at the International Conference Center of Geneva. Today, I will walk you through Ubuntu, I Am Because We Are. The term Ubuntu comes from the Zulu language, which roughly translates as a person is a person through other people, or I am because we are. As both definitions imply, it's a philosophy of shared humanity rooted in kindness, compassion and connectedness. The artists invited for this exhibition come from Angola, Kenya, Mozambique, Nigeria, South Africa and Zimbabwe. Jess Atieno Jess Atieno is informed by inquiries into place, home, and dispossession, all viewed through a postcolonial lens. Such themes, and relevant ones such as race and identity, have become all the more gripping since moving to Chicago. She sees herself as carrying inscriptions of a colonial past, and studying as an adult in the United States made her increasingly unable to situate herself in a static reality of belonging. No animal could stand against him. None could be rescued from his power. 2021. Screen print on canvas. In this current body of work, Atieno time travels into history through its material remains. Historical photographs, maps and documents, employing them in prints, installations and tapestry. She turns to the idea of place as the transformative site of hybridity that offers alternative strategies for new models of representation. Anita Kavoshi. Anita Kavoshi draws, paints, and experiments on different mediums and materials. Her work seeks to recover the layers of emotion that constitute the self and its relationship to the world. Home and belonging are important themes in her oeuvre, the result of being born in the densely populated Kibera slums. You know them when you stay with them. 2021. Mixed media and collage on recycled carpet. In You Know Them, When You Stay With Them, a girl tries to break free from the bonds of trauma and manipulation. The weight of it all is overwhelming. She needs to liberate herself, to find the light again, compassion and love, to live her life, live her dreams with others, with humanity. We have to be willing to say who we are. Teresa Cutala Firmino Teresa Cutala Firmino is a multimedia artist based in Johannesburg, working with paint, photography and performance. In her work, she negotiates trauma, both personal and collective, constructing scenes of past and present which are sometimes intertwined. Sitting for the Artist One, 2019, acrylic and collage on canvas. The work Sitting for the Artist One came about as part of Firmino's desire to pose for herself. The result is a portrait that represents hidden facets of the artist. Cassina Moda Cassina Moda is a painter and performance artist who explores the intricacies of social dynamics through vivid scenes that intermingle the heartfelt with the absurd, the quotidian with the cosmic, the joyous with the macabre. Maria emotionally listens to Cesaria Evora, Saudades, as she pans by the bar, 2019. Acrylic on canvas. A recurring figure in the modest work is a woman named Maria. Maria represents multifaceted femininity, encompassing a wide variety of female roles in post-colonial Mozambique. 
Maria is kind, holy and vivacious, and at the same time, melancholic, moody and profane. Nengi Omuko Nengi Omuko is inspired by the politics of the body, as well as interiority and the workings of the mind. In her oil paintings, which draw from archival photos and personal experiences, she interrogates how individuals navigate place, constantly questioning the nature of identity and belonging. She favors Sonyon as a medium, pre-colonial Western Nigerian fabric. The combination of oil paints and Sonyon speaks to a living between cultures, while at the same time firmly contextualizing her work within her local setting. Lighthouse 2021, oil on Sonyon. The work Lighthouse was conceived and created during the residence of Nengi Omuko at the World Trade Organization. The work is about gathering, it's about coming together in stillness and listening to one another. When thinking about the central character, the artist wanted to create the embodiment of purity of thought and heart. For this reason, the figure is that of a child. Ana Silva Ana Silva's work is personal, deep and delicate, combining various materials to explore notions of legacy, more specifically, the passing of knowledge from one generation of women to the next. Fragile 02 depicts a mix of textiles, like lace and cotton, revealing the face of a woman. She appears surrounded by wings, suggesting her protection skills like the guardian angel. Within her, a child can be noticed, in the center left of the piece. He is covering his face with his hands, suggesting a moment of fragility. Here the woman could be considered the mother caring for a child in tears, demonstrating the mother-child relationship, a current theme in Silva's work. The many pieces of fabric add layers to the story, demonstrating the complexity of this bond. Behind the angel's face, the artist used a tablecloth-like printed fabric, which associates with the home environment. Helen Teed The work of Helen Teed is very much a reflection on storytelling, using painting as a medium. She relies on situated knowledge and material thinking, rejecting notions of total, objective knowledge while embracing the importance of process, curiosity, failure and paradox. Ocean Have No Country, 2021. Fabric dye, acrylic resin and oil on canvas. The need for each of us to feel whole in regards to our beliefs and our ways of engaging with the world underscores Tid's recent canvases in which landscapes become embodied. Bodies merge with their environment in optimistic futurism and reanimate ancient beliefs. Like the exhibition, the painting expressed compassion, humanity and hope for the world emerging from constraints of global lockdown. Yaditima Ukoha Kalu Yaditimna Ukoha Kalu is a self-taught experimental artist based in Lagos. Her practice centers on explorations of line, form and boundary, which she expressed through a variety of media, including painting, drawing, sculpture and film. Portal Monolith, 2021. Permanent marker, mirror, stand, frame, plexiglass. With the work Portal Monolith, the artist returned to mark making as a fundamental process for language and expression. The artist superimposed the scripts by first engraving them on plexiglass. The plexi will then be bound to a mirror. I hope you enjoyed discovering the eight African artists featured at Ubuntu I Am Because We Are. I would like to thank Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Iwala and the WTO team for the opportunity given to this talent African artist and Africana Art Foundation. Thank you and see you soon.